What I'd like to cover in this video is how to use the Digifarm RTK services on an Android device. We first want to enter the Google Play Store. And we can search at the top Digifarm. We can go ahead now and click on the Digifarm VBN client and click install. As it's downloading, we can enter the settings. And under Bluetooth, we'll search for available devices. Our beacon should show up. We'll go ahead and pair it with our beacon device. Once our beacon is paired, we can go ahead now and go to the Digifarm VBN app. Once our app is loaded, we can go and click on the top right corner for settings. And under receiver settings, we'll change the connection to being external via Bluetooth. We want to find our beacon device under Bluetooth devices and choose their beacon. We can auto enable Bluetooth to help save battery life if desired. Now let's go into our Intrip settings and network protocol being version 1.0 Intrip. Our caster port number is already entered at 2101. Now we'll enter in our username. And our password. We'll make sure our data stream is set on refresh stream list. That way when we connect for the first time, it will give us a mount point that are listed for the caster port. We can also get our external receiver to report our location and or use the Android device itself. In display, you can change your background and or show more info on boxes three and four. I will click connect. Now our caster information is, is gathered and is listing the mount points that are underneath that port. For our example, we're using a Trimble CMR receiver. At the end of this video, I will have an image explaining the different receiver types and their associated mount points. For this, we will choose the VBN CMR PTRM. Now we are running RTK fixed position. Now you can see how easy it is to use Digifarm RTK services on an Android device. H&H &H, thanks you for watching.